Hello everybody. It's me again, Kate. <laughs> I'll just wait for everybody to join. I hope you're all doing well. It's very hot here in the UK. So if you're joining from the UK, I feel your pain. <laughs> I've actually closed my window because I don't want any noise from outside. Like, you know, with, you know, people coming home from work and stuff like that. Sometimes we even get an ice cream truck running around at this time of, um, of day. And I always think to myself, oh my gosh, if I was on a live show right now, that would not be helpful. <laughs> um, so I've closed my window. So if you see me kind of get more shiny as we go through the show, I do apologize, it is because of the heat. Um, but obviously if you're tuning in from outside the UK, we're going through a bit of a heat wave at the moment. And typical Brits, we just like to complain about it. So, <laughs> um, But in keeping with that kind of topic, today's show is all about travel. So I'm gonna be talking about some travel sizes, um, like what we have that you can take away with you, um, how to look after your skin when you're traveling, um, what to do like when you're on a flight and things like that. So if that's of interest, stay tuned. I'll be talking in more detail about those in a, in a few minutes. Um, as always, um, I'm gonna introduce to you Katya, who is in the wings, she's on our chat. So if you've got any questions at all, I will try to get to some at the end of the show, um, but Katya's gonna be on hand to answer any of your questions. So as always, we like these shows to be really interactive, so ask as many as you like. I love the person who has just commented saying, I hope you're enjoying the sunshine, who's called Chatterbox, I love that. Please keep chatting away because we love it. Honestly, we love it. Um, so yes, Katya is here to answer all of your questions in the chat. But like I said, I will try to get to some of them at the end. So um, yeah, it doesn't have to be um, travel related. It could be anything in general. But today we are talking about travel. And as always with these shows, we do have a little offer for you. And it's 20% off our travel sizes. And there is some um, full sizes in that particular offer as well but Catch is going to pin the link for you and it will take you straight to the page that has all of the products on there with the offer on it so that's 20% off it's with the code beach um in keeping with our lovely theme of traveling away to a lovely beach somewhere um so yes there's going to be 20 percent off um the products some of them i'm going to be talking about some of them that i am talking about won't be um in the 20 percent off but if you click that link you'll find all of the products there that have the 20 percent off just remember to enter that code beach and you'll get the 20 percent off um I think that is everything. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Kate. I'm the lead skin coach here at Pi, and I've done quite a few of these live shows now. So um, hopefully some of you will already know my face. Um, but I also run our consultation service as well. So me and my colleague Holly um, love chatting to you all. So if you want to book in with us, they are completely free and you can do so via our website. Um, of course, as I said, you, I, we like to keep this really interactive. So if you like things I'm talking about, pop some little hearts on there. Let me know that you're enjoying the show. And um, yeah. Okay, we'll get started. So travel guys, how many of you struggle with your skin when you're traveling? I know I definitely do. And I think sometimes for people with sensitive skin, we constantly kind of think about, oh my gosh, like, you know, if you're going to like the different climates that you're already living in, how is your skin going to respond to that? Is it going to react? Do I need to change my skincare in any way? So for me, I would say to you, try to keep your skincare as normal as you would, so you're like your usual skincare as possible. That may, may change a little bit for some of you that might be a combination skin type. So for instance, if you've seen some of my other shows where I've kind of spoken about how your moisturizer might change with the seasons, then this is quite typical of that as well. So if, like me, you get 
oilier in the summer months or when you go to a hotter climate, then I would automatically change my moisturizer. I don't change anything else in my routine, I just change my moisturizer. Because if I have a too richer moisturizer when my skin gets oilier, I will definitely get congestion and breakouts. So if you're similar to that, just change your moisturizer, nothing else. Um, some of you might have the same moisturizer all year round, even in hotter climates, that's absolutely fine. Do not change a thing then, just keep it as it is. Um, but that's really important. When you've got sensitive skin, don't feel like, oh, because I'm going on holiday, like I need to do, I need to do more than I normally would. I, you know, like some people might like cleanse more. And I mean, you will essentially like cleanse more, um, but they might feel like, oh, I'm gonna need like this extra serum. I'm gonna need this extra moisturizer. I need this oil or this it's almost like treatment don't don't do it don't overwhelm your skin with too much change because some people end up coming back from holiday and they actually get in touch with us and say my skin is really really freaking out and it's more often than not because they've changed way too much in their routine as they've gone away so just keep it the same as normal but like like I said if you're going to a hotter climate and your skin gets oilier just change your moisturizer to a lighter one for us that would be the pioneer um, or it might be if you've gone from Salvation Jane it might be the Love and Hate moisturizer um, but yeah just just change it as as you need to with with your moisturizer um, Another thing that I will also say is when we're flying or when we are going to a hotter climate, hydration. Hydration is so, so key for your skin, just in general, but more particularly when you are traveling and you know going on planes and being in different climates. Because one, planes do zap the moisture out of our skin, they're very dehydrating. And then when you go to a higher climate, um, so sorry, higher climate, higher humidity, um, there is less moisture in the air as well. So you do need that hydration. Also sun exposure, it dehydrates the skin anyway. So it is really, really important. Now, why is it important? People always talk about, oh, hydration is so important. Why though? Because your skin is made up of roughly 60% water. And that's your entire body as well, not just the skin on your face, your entire body. So we need to keep it hydrated. Water makes up some of your barrier. So your barrier is made up of your natural lipids that's created by your sebum and, you know, ceramides, cholesterol, all that stuff. So your lipids, water, and amino acids. So it is really, really important to get that hydration into your skin. Of course, we're gonna have some fun whilst we're on holiday. We might have a drink or two. We're gonna be out in the sun. So just make sure that you're drinking, obviously, enough water and um, getting all that hydration into your skin. Now, any skin type can be dehydrated. So that's why a serum here is really, really key. So the Back to Life Hydration Serum is gonna be your best friend on a flight, when you get off the flight, when you're in that hotter climate. Honestly, Back to Life Hydration Serum, I mean, it's my best friend anyway, because I use it all year round, but it will really, really save your skin whilst you're in those kind of climates. Um, so yeah, hydration, definite, definitely key. Now, something that my partner actually brought up, and I was really surprised that he brought this up because I was like, hold on a second, how, how are you bringing up skincare to me? And basically, he was talking about acne when you're traveling. So, you know, like I think he was calling it plain acne. And I was like, that's very, very interesting. So if you are one of those people who tend to have a breakout, whether like because you've been on a flight, um, it can be down to your barrier because of course, as I was saying before, hydration is really, really key when you are on a flight. So, and also on certain flights, you might still have to wear masks or you actually might prefer to still wear a mask. Um, and if that is the case, the All Becomes Clear Serum is a really good one because it's got antibacterial properties. So you can apply that before you get on like your flight. So when you're doing like your skincare in the morning, make sure you pop that on. Um, and that's a really, really good one. Um, if you want the hydration on your flight, use the Back to Life Hydration Serum. And then when you get off and you do your skincare in that evening, then put the All Becomes Clear Serum on, and that will help treat your skin. So you're getting the hydration during the day, and then your treatment for the for the acne or blemishes at night time. So 
that's how you can kind of just kind of change things around very, very slightly to adapt, particularly if you know that you're going to get certain things when you travel. If your skin doesn't, you know, maybe it's just like a little bit like reactive when, when you go to like on holiday or different climates or when you fly, that's where I'm saying don't change your skincare. If it's happy at home, then, you know, it's, it's, it's try and keep it as normal as possible. Don't try and change it too much. You can, of course, just support your barrier at just that, that little bit more. We've got a few things that will do that. So things like our Light Fantastic Oil, that's a really good one. So you could have that on a flight, just giving your skin that extra bit of protection. Um, Rosehip Oil is obviously something that we, we say everyone should always have in their bathroom cabinet. Um, and... Of course, um, what was the other one I was going to suggest? Oh yes, our Inulin Prebiotic. Uh, that's also in the offer as well. Um, but yes, so those kind of things that are going to support your barrier, that have got the, um, the prebiotics in it, that are going to feed the good bacteria on your skin, you know, these kind of supportive um, to your barrier is what you're really, really going to be key. So obviously like looking after your skin whilst you're on holiday, what would that routine kind of look like? So in the, in the morning, basically less is more, less is more anyway, but when you're on holiday, less is definitely more. You don't want to overwhelm your skin. It's hot already. We don't need any more stuff like that's going to um, overwhelm our skin. So cleanse um, in the morning, particularly if you tend to get quite oily at night time. Obviously, we've got air conditioning in these kind of um, resorts that we kind of stay in and things like that. I have stayed at some though where I've got air conditioning, but I'm still really hot at night. So if you're ever in that situation, sometimes you might want like a very gentle cleanse. Middle Miss Seven is the best one for that. So this actually comes in a travel size along with our other cleanser. So that's the light work. Um, so you can take these away with you. Um, so Middle Miss Seven is just that really nice gentle cleanser that you can do a gentle cleanse in the morning and it just refreshes everything. Um, then I will probably put on a hydrating serum. Um, like I was saying before, just get that hydration into your skin in these hotter climates. Um, and then if you can, a light moisturizer, or if you need um, a richer one because your skin is still on the drier side, even when you are away in hotter climates, then put on um, a richer moisturizer, but a moisturizer and then put on your SPF. Some people can get away with just putting a serum on and then their SPF, then that's absolutely fine. What I would also say, if you want some extra protection or enhance your SPF, the vitamin C booster is a really, really good one. So vitamin C has this amazing quality of getting into the melanin within our skin and breaking it up. So if you've got pigmentation or you're really prone to pigmentation when you go away, vitamin C is something that you need to have in your routine. It also is an incredible antioxidant, which means that it can fight free radicals. And that basically those free radicals that can come from uh, pollution, UV rays, stress, they cause cellular damage within our skin. So what an antioxidant can do is stabilize a free radical without becoming a free radical itself. And that's where vitamin C is just amazing. So bung some vitamin C into, into your routine during the day and that will further enhance your protection. So we always say mix um, one or two drops of the vitamin C in with the British Summertime SPF. So these two together mix really, really nicely. It will enhance the protection of the SPF. Um, it won't make the SPF better. I'm, I just mean that it will protect your skin from that cellular damage. Just making sure that was clear. Um, so, and you know, I tell you what, when I was on holiday, I kept everything really, really simple. I didn't actually cleanse in the morning because I didn't feel I needed to. I just spritzed um, with one of my mists. Um, then I put my Back to Life Hydration Serum on, I put my moisturiser on and I just let that sink in for a little bit and then I put um, the SPF on mixed with the vitamin C. Um, if I was going out on like a day trip out, I actually mixed some of the Impossible Glow on there too. So um, if you've seen um, our Impossible Glow, we've got three lovely colours so um, it can suit 
loads and loads of different um, skin tones. My favourite though is the bronze when I'm on holiday. It really enhances your tan. So um, that was something that I was using very, very regularly. I also don't like to wear any tinted moisturisers or um, foundations when I'm, on, when I'm on holiday. It's just too hot for me. I just feel like it's sliding off. So this is a really lovely alternative just to kind of like even out the skin tone, but then also enhance the tan that you've got during the day. So um, yeah, that was definitely for me like morning routine. Now, evening routine, of course, we've been wearing SPF. We might have been wearing a little bit of makeup if we've been going out. And that's where double cleansing, my friends, is absolutely key. Because that's going to also stop you getting breakouts, congestion. It's going to stop you getting like irritation on the skin. Because we want to make sure that our skin is fully cleansed and completely clean before we apply our finishing products. So that's where, of course, the light work cleansing oil comes in. And then again, the Middle Mist 7. So you would use this one first because oils cling to other oils and your SPF and makeup are oil-based. So this will be incredibly effective at breaking down those oilier, heavier products that we've been under all day. And then this one is just gonna make sure that everything's definitely been removed from your skin. So that's where double cleansing on holiday is definitely key. Um, and then of course, treat your skin at night, really, really treat your skin. Now, as I was saying before, if you've got acne and you want some sort of treatment at nighttime because you know you're gonna end up having a breakout, All Becomes Clear is a really good serum to use next. Um, if you're more on the, uh, sorry, dehydrated side, you get dehydrated, particularly like me, I definitely do that. Um, then Back to Life Hydration Serum is your best friend. It will just hydrate your skin overnight. We tend to lose more moisture as we sleep as well because your skin is in its big repair process. So moisture, get that hydration into your skin. We get so dehydrated um, in hotter climates. So hydration is definitely key. So Back to Life Hydration Serum or um, if you want treatment for sort of like breakouts, then the um, All Becomes Clear Serum is a good one to use at nighttime. Then I would probably look at our rosehip oil, to be honest with you. You can, of course, use like a nice hydrating moisturizer. Absolutely fine. I was literally glued to this in the evening when I was on holiday. It was just, you've been out in the sun all day. You know, I wanted something that was going to like repair and regenerate and just boost my skin back up again. And that's where this teamed with um, the Back to Life Hydration Serum did wonders for my skin. It just kept everything calm and happy and it helps to repair the skin as well. So this one, absolutely brilliant. If you don't like after suns um, or like you need something richer, because obviously after suns tend to be, you know, like a creamy gel, um, I would mix this in with your with your body lotion. That will really help as a great light like, after sun. But of course we have our own after sun as well and it is in the offer of 20% off. Um, so our after sun is just really lovely and cooling. It is that cream gel consistency. And to be honest with you, I use our after sun throughout summer even when i'm home here in the uk i have to have the um the after sun on my on my body my body is really dry but in the summer if i use poly plum it is way too heavy for my skin i literally will just sweat it out <laughs> so with the after sun it's just really really nice and light it essentially it doesn't dry matte on the skin it kind of gives you like this nice sort of um it feels moisturized, but it it's almost like it's got a film on your skin, but it hasn't. It's just, if you've ever used it, you'll know what I mean, but it just gives this nice moisturization to the skin without being too heavy. Um, so yeah, that that's definitely what I would, I would suggest for evening. What I tend to do, and this might be a question on some of your minds, is what do you do if you're like going out at night time, for instance? What, how does like your kind of routines look like then? So morning, keep the routine very simple. As I was saying before, do a gentle cleanse if you need it or just refresh it with like warm water or a mist or something like that. Um, and then a serum and then maybe like SPF or maybe you'll use a moisturizer before your SPF. Um, then when you come home, so this is what I did. I would come home at around about like four o'clock after I'd been like sunbathing or if we'd been out on like a, a day excursion or something. And I would want to cleanse my skin before I go out. I want to get the SPF off of my skin 
and then put my makeup on and then go out. So I would just refresh my skin. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd only do a single cleanse this time. So I would kind of just basically get um, the Lightwork Cleansing Oil and I would just really mass massage it in and then just rinse it all off. Um, and then I put like my, my moisturizer on um, and then I mixed with the um, Impossible Glow and then I'd do like the rest of my makeup. And then I would go out um, for dinner come home and that's when I would double cleanse. So uh, it was just really, I just needed to refresh my skin before I was heading out and I didn't have like, most of the time I didn't have a huge amount of time. I'd end up having a nap during half of that. So I would need to be like quite quick to get ready and out the door. Um, so yeah, that that's my kind of tip there. So just make sure you do refresh your skin before you go out at night time. Um, if you're having a, a night in, then obviously double cleanse your skin when you're ready and you know, do all the lovely treatments but that's what I would really suggest um so yeah I think that's probably all my tips I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I've not forgotten anything but kind of looking after your skin particularly if you've got sensitive skin um, when you're on holiday so let's move on to flights like so when you're on a flight what do you do so I would say like most often we would tend to have quite early morning flights when we're going on holiday somewhere so just do your skincare before you get on the flight. You don't need to worry about it too much. Don't panic too much about, oh, do I need to do something before I actually get on the plane? No, not at all. Like, just make sure that you do your skincare before when you wake up. So for me, like, I literally, like, refreshed my skin, put my serum on. I just made sure I had everything on my skin that I personally needed before I got on that flight. So I wanted to retain the, the, the moisture in my skin as much as possible. So I put on my Back to Life Hydration Serum. I put on my um, Love and Hate Moisturizer. And um, I also actually put on the Light Fantastic Oil because I just wanted something light but that wasn't going to overwhelm my skin on the flight but that actually just locked in that moisture for me so either the light fantastic or the rosehip oil will, will do that for you so if you need that absolutely go for it we do so um the rosehip oil and the light fantastic are um in mini sizes and they're available in the offer as well so if you click that link and um, that catcher is pinned that will take you to the whole page that's got the 20% off. Remember, you need to enter the code BEACH and that will get you the 20% off of those products, but the products that are on that page. Um, so yeah, that's what um, I did to kind of set my skin up for a flight. If you're on a long haul flight, um, I would definitely think about using some of that time to really treat your skin. So something like the Resurrection Girl mask or even the Curtain Call mask, either of those would be quite nice. So Curtain Call is our high, uh, sorry, Curtain Call, the Resurrection Girl, I'm going to talk about first, is our hydration mask. It's got a lot of humectants in there, which basically draws moisture to the skin. Um, and it's also got inulin in there as well, which is the prebiotic that we use um, in our booster. And that's going to feed the good bacteria on your skin. Um, and it's also got blue tansy, which is a great anti-inflammatory. So that is going to help to calm down and really protect your skin on a flight. It's also a nice wash off product as well. So if you have it on there and you kind of want to keep it on until you get off your flight, you can just wash it off in the bathroom. So that that's always an option. Um, with Curtain Call, you do need to use the cloth to remove it, but Curtain Call has the rosehip oil in it. So if you're like quite a, a reactive person, so like your, your skin is really reactive on flights, this might be quite a nice one to use. Um, but like I said, you do have a cloth to remove it. You also look a little bit like an umpa because it's quite a yellowy, um, almost orangey kind of like consistency on this color on the skin. Um, so if you don't mind looking like that, then go for it. I, I personally would. I would whack it on there. I don't care what I look like. I might even put some cucumber on my eyes. Who knows? But um, definitely use that time to get that hydration and nourishment in, into your skin. You're not doing anything else. You might be watching a film, of course. But why not put a mask on? Who cares? Um, so that is, of course, an option. Also, quite nice, even when you're on holiday, but definitely when you're on a long haul flight is a nice mist. Now we may or may not be launching something very soon that's very similar to that. 
but you know, watch this space, you'll find out soon. Um, but a mist is a really nice way to rehydrate the skin. Um, I took mine on holiday, I kept it in the fridge, so when I came in at four o'clock, I spritzed it across and I was like, oh yes, thank you so much. So those kind of things um, are really, really nice. Just keep your skin nicely hydrated, because as I said, water makes up a lot of your barrier. So definitely we need that hydration topped up when we're on flights when we're in a hot climate so yeah if you've got a mist spritz it across that's going to really help to keep your skin nicely hydrated on long haul flights um, and you'll feel like the tightness like whenever I'm on a long haul flight I can feel the tightness in my skin so just go go to the bathroom spritz it across or do a mask you know whatever you fancy um but yeah they are definitely two two good ones um if you are like i was saying before about this like plain acne that my partner um was talking to me about earlier then um you i would still say like hydration is still definitely key but if you're someone that is like really quite concerned about it and or like you break out as soon as you know maybe you like running up to like going on a flight or whatever that might be you can absolutely use the all becomes clear serum on a flight like so if you find that actually that suits you better, then get that on there. Some people find that um, they want the All Becomes Clear Serum and then the Love and Hate Moisturizer over the top because they've actually, they do have a drier skin, but they do tend to break out on flights. That's also another option. So you kind of just have to, you know, you know your skin better than anyone. So if you feel like, actually, I feel like I'm gonna need more support from an antibacterial perspective in terms of breakouts, then go for the All Becomes Clear Serum. But if, you know, like I'm like saying, uh, everyone's skin is roughly about 60% water and it, re it makes up some of your barrier, then hydration is definitely key. So if you are, if that's speaking to you, you're like, yeah, okay, when I go on that flight next, I need a hydrating serum to really support my skin. Because serums are like your targeted products. So they're gonna go right deep down into the deeper layers of your skin and work from the bottom upwards. So they are literally your support. And then your moisturizers are to your skin type. So that's where I was saying in the beginning, like change your skin, so, sorry, change your moisturizer if your skin does get oilier in the summer months or if you go to a hotter climate come down to a lighter moisturizer so that you're not overwhelming your skin if it doesn't do that and it tends to be like like the same sort of skin type all the year round then stick to your normal moisturizer um but that's all i would say on a change and like i said just keep the hydration levels up and that's where a hydrating serum is really really key um another good one final one for flights that I actually only thought about just before this show is our System D eye serum. So this, if you get puffy eyes on flights, this is a really, really good one. So it's got a ceramic head on it, which remains cold all the time. So when you're applying the eye serum, it's really lovely and cooling around your eyes. Um, you can do like a little massage motion. So like you just kind of do like that up and around your orbital bone, um, and that just helps to boost the circulation. But honestly, something, if your eyes do get puffy, then the, um, System D is something that you would want to take on holiday, on a flight, keep it in the fridge whilst you're on holiday. That'll make it super, super cool when you are applying it to your to your eye area. I can see loads of people giving hearts for that as well. Yeah, puffy eyes, irritated eyes from flights. Um, I hear you. So System D is quite a good one to think about for that. Um, right, final thing, smart packing. And this is where a lot of our 20% off offers um, are gonna come in really, really handy because it's all on travel sizes. So as I was saying before, um, our cleansers are both in travel size. And I think that's really important when you are, sorry, I just like nudged my um, stand there as I crossed my legs over. Um, as you know, with sensitive skin, it's, Cleansing, we always bang on about how important cleansing is. And that is because cleansers that strip your skin of its natural oils 
really do irritate and affect the skin. So when you're on holiday, it is so important just to keep your cleansers exactly the same. And that's why we've got our cleansers in travel sizes. So you can get these in little travel sizes. So you can, and obviously they are under 100 mils as well. So you can pop them in your carry-on as well. And um, particularly if you're, you're on a long haul flight and you just want to refresh your skin, then both the cleansers are there if you just want a quick um, refresh. But um, yeah, don't um, like, you know, change your cleanser, like go and buy one at the airport, make sure that you pack your cleanser and it's in travel size, which we've got for you here. Um, they, it, it will just really help to keep your skin nice and calm. And as I was saying, you know, double cleansing is really important when you're away because of removing SPF fully and even like your makeup and things like that. So yeah, cleansing is definitely really, really important. So we've got those in travel size for you. Um, rosehip oil or the light fantastic or if you are um breakout prone the um carbon star all of those come in little travel sizes as well so you'd be very happy to know that you don't need to change any of like your evening routine you can keep that all the same so um yeah all of those oils they're in the offer as well but they are um depending on what like your kind of skin concern is or skin type is um we've got something for you at night time so those three oils do come in little travel sizes as well um so yeah light fantastic is really good for um anyone who um wants to protect their barrier uh rosehip oil is great just as an all-rounder whether you're on a flight or whether you get sunburn accidentally or because you've just had exposure to the sun it's a really we good way to repair and regenerate the skin and then of course carbon star if you are breakout prone just helps to neutralize that p acne bacteria that we have all have on our skin but more, some of us are more prone to that than others um and then also just sort of kind of detoxifying the skin as well so yeah we've got you covered there um of course the impossible glows so if you want um you know, like I was saying to you before, I literally lived on the bronze one with my, um, on holiday. So this comes in and all, sorry, the other two as well, come in 10 mil sizes. So you can take these away with you and you know, you literally only need like one drop, but like build up like, um, the coverage as you, as you see fit. I'd always suggest starting with one drop and then building up, but it really does intensify your tan. It makes it, it really sets it off. It gives you that holiday glow, which we all love when we go on holiday. So, um, yeah. And like I said, it's a nice way to kind of even out your skin tone without having to apply like a heavy foundation or like a tinted moisturizer or BB cream or anything like that. Cause if you're like me, I I can't deal with too much on my skin um, during hotter climates. It, I just feel like it's I'm sweating it off. So if you're one of those, Impossible Glow is brilliant. And like I said, we do it in a 10 mil size. So you can pop it in your, um, your carry-on um, if necessary. Um, and I think that's all of them. Make sure that you take clean cloths as well. So we do do our cloths in a pack of three um, that come with Middle Miss Seven. Um, they are great when you're on holiday because you can just refresh your skin with those as well. And um, obviously it's great when using um, either of the cleansers. I must admit when I was on holiday and I was removing like my makeup at night, I would actually use, so when I was using um, the light work to remove my makeup, I would use use um, my cloth to remove everything purely because I was really scared that we had white towels and my makeup always transfers onto white towels um so and I didn't want us to get um you know one of those like um your just your security deposit um I just did not want anything to like come up after that so I I just to be on the safe side I did use um my cloth and then um, I used my cloth to to remove um middle miss seven as my double cleanse as well and um I actually felt like I was thoroughly cleansed before applying um, the rest of my um, finishing product. So yeah, that's another tip for you as well, but make sure you've got plenty of cloths. If you're like me and you've been using Pi for a while, you've probably accumulated so many cloths. I've got so many in my drawer, but honestly, they are really, really good to have a clean cloth every single time that you cleanse. The they obviously fit really well into suitcases because they are flat, so they they um, 
they go really really nicely and and, and light in your in your packing um but yeah they they were brilliant for, for me on, on holiday so yeah um okay I think that is literally everything travel um we have now come to the end of the show i haven't got round to answering any questions so i do apologize but i can see that catches has answered quite a few of you which is brilliant she's always really good at this so um yes um i hope you really enjoyed the show i hope it was really helpful if you are still a little bit unsure about what you would need for your skin specifically when you go away, we do have the free skin consultations, either with myself or my lovely colleague, Holly. Um, we are more than happy to chat with you through um, any sort of, of, of your skin concerns. It doesn't have to just be about travel. It can be about absolutely anything, but it is in a very safe space. So you can talk to us about absolutely anything to do with your skin, no judgment at all. And we will definitely help you and support you through your skin journey whether it's travel or not but yeah if you are watching the show and you feel like yeah I still I, I want to know what serum might be best for me or um or anything else or whether you might need to change your moisturizer when you go traveling um just pop in um for a quick chat with us we offer 10 minutes and 30 minutes and they're completely free um so yeah do chat with us if you feel that you need um that extra advice and support um don't forget the offer before I go and um, so Katya has linked it for you there so if you click on that link it'll take you to the page where all the products that have 20% off for the next 24 hours um so after this show 24 hours and then that offer will be gone but if you click on that link it shows you all the products that have the 20% off but just make sure that you use the the code beach at checkout and that will take the the 20% off um, for you but yes it's just those products that are on that page so have a look see if you want anything for your travels and um, enter the code beach at checkout and you'll get 20% off all right guys thank you so much for tuning in as always I love doing these cho these shows and talking to you so um, I hope it was really helpful I hope you really enjoyed it and until next time see you soon <laughs>